Hi everybody, uh, this video is going to be a video about uh, Chinese knockoffs, specifically the Falk Newman F1. Uh, this box, I've got two of them. Uh, what I've done is I just hold that up the right way. I ordered two of them. These came from my uh, China in the mail, um, or from Hong Kong specifically. And what I'm going to do with one of them is I'm going to check the handle um, and I'm actually going to cut one of them off and uh, check it. This is, oops, I just dropped one. This is my real Fork Niven F1 and I've, uh, what I've done is I've just wrapped a bit of paracord around the end of the handle and made a loop around it um, on my specific uh, this is a real Fork Niven F1. I'm going to make a comparison with this one. Um, mine, I bought mine with the uh, the leather sheath that comes with it, and uh, I'm going to make the comparison. On the on my F1, um, this one is laminated VG10, and they said in the uh, in the description when I bought this when I bought these ones from China from Hong Kong that it is also laminated uh, VG10 uh, but we'll see about that we'll see what they say whether it's true or not because I found some other videos ah uh, sorry some other um, some other ads for the Falcon Even F1 that say that it's 440C uh, and not actually and not actually um, uh, VG10 if you notice on the real VG10 uh, hopefully that'll autofocus soon. Anyway, maybe you've seen it, maybe you haven't. There's, you can, if you look closely, there we go. If you look closely, there's like a small line that's just above the cutting edge. You can see it a bit over there, or that bit there. There's a small line, and that's the lamination line. And we'll make the comparison with the other one. There's a reason why I'm wearing these gloves. It's because I don't want to cut myself. These are very sharp knives, and because I'm going to be stripping this uh, this handle, I'm not sure what it's made of. Because I'm going to be stripping, cutting this handle off, um, I really don't want to risk cutting myself open, and I'd rather be safe than sorry. Um, on this, on these ones, on the real, on mine, there's uh, if I sort of put my fingernail into the into the handle it leaves a small mark it's, it's quite hard to get a uh, to get a good um, to get a good uh, sort of groove in there from the net from from my nails um, on the real one the the um, uh, the tang sticks out the bottom there and there's a video that Virtual Voice Vice did on on the F1 on uh, with the X-ray machine at his work that has the F1 in there and it shows the tango right the way through and that's what specifically what I want to check uh, with these ones from China. If this one, uh, if these ones from uh, from Hong Kong are actually uh, are you know have the same sort of tang, then these are these are pretty good and we'll check to see if the value is okay I guess um, and we'll make a comparison there uh, so that's so that's my VG so that's my F1 uh, with the VG10 and the normal handle at the real F1 and uh, we'll see how we go if this is this came from one of the shops and this one what have we got just an empty box here. It's just some uh, some bubble wrap. It's not really relevant. Already, I can see it's got the uh, tang sticking out the back of it. You can see the tang. Uh, it comes in a plastic. I've got one of them with the hard case, um, and the other one with a hopefully the same uh, the same leather sheath. On mine, it says F1. Uh, on the front of it, um, and this other one. Let's put that down. Oh, here we go. 
looks like what they've done, they've wrapped it in some aluminium foil, not for, not sure what the reason of that is. Uh, put that open. Just some normal aluminium foil. I'll put mine back in its sheath just so that it's not in the way and I don't cut myself accidentally on it. So that can go back there. Already I can see that this one that they've uh, made, they've done a pretty good job actually. The leather is a lot thinner. The leather is thinner. Hopefully it'll focus. There we go. So on mine you can see the leather is a bit thicker than, than theirs. Okay. Theirs has the F1 symbol as normal. It's got the same rivets, same same positioning as the rivets. It looks like they've <laughs> the, Ch the Chinese did a better job at riveting than than the official one. The official one is kind of off center. I'll turn that sideways. Wait for the focus. See that's mine, this is my F1, um, you can see that the rivets are off center, um, whereas on theirs, they've got, their rivets are slightly larger and uh, more centered. Opening it up, some plastic, get rid of that. There is no lamination line on this. There is no lamination line like on my Falkniven, like I showed you earlier. Um, feels a bit rough, I'm not sure why. Um, same sort of material, feels like the same sort of material. If I try and get my fingernail into it, it uh, doesn't leave a big mark. It leaves a small mark, kind of similar to the other one. Let's wait for the focus. So they're the marks that I made. And comparison to mine. Doesn't leave a mark as much as it did on the Chinese one. Uh, okay, that can go back. Back to the Chinese one. As I said, there's no lamination lines. Um, I'll just get a bit of paper and I'll, I'll do a cut test on this as well. Uh, and we'll see how that goes. Okay, I've got some paper now. Uh, this is the edge that, that came with it. Um, I've just noticed the point is not as pointy. The tip is not as pointy as um, as my F1. This one seems a bit rounded off. I'm not sure why. Anyway, here we go. Wow, it's pretty sharp. Just as sharp as any other any other knife, I guess just as sharp. It's got the um, the F1 logo, the Forkniven F1 logo on the side of the knife. It says laminated VG10 which clearly it isn't. These Chinese knockoffs do a pretty good job at copying. Um, so this one was the one that was in the leather sheath. This is the one that came in the leather sheath. So I'll put that one back, that one can go back in there. And here's the one that came in the hard sheath. I don't have the hard sheath to compare it to. Um, as I said, these did come from a different uh, different seller. Um, and no, I did not buy them from eBay, if that's what you're thinking. This one, 
you can leave finger mark you can leave finger marks in the uh, handle just as the other one the other Chinese one can um, this one's got the tang sticking out the bottom uh, looks very similar to has the same sort of feel in comparison to mine it does feel the same I don't see any sort of difference they weigh about the same I don't have any scales to check it um, but uh, yeah I don't have any scales to check that I'll just put that back in the sheath Uh, yeah, it looks very similar to the one that was in the leather sheath. Bring that one back out again. They do see very similar. They look exactly the same. I don't see any major differences on the tip, on the end of it. There's... Uh, maybe if I bring it up heaps close it'll show it. Come on, change. Okay, maybe not. Um, the handles do uh, feel the same. I don't see any major differences. They probably came out of the same factory. There were two different prices. They did come from two different sellers. Um, and yeah, so I think what I'll do is I'll get the gloves on and I'll uh, start hacking one of them apart. I'm not sure which one I will will do. I don't think it really matters. I didn't do a cut test on the other one, on the one that came out of the leather. I don't, yeah, the leather one. I didn't do a cut test out of the leather one, so and that just seems as sharp as normal, just like the normal ones. Um, I did a cut test in one of my other videos, um, and there's a link in the description if you want to see that. Uh, so, so yeah, so let's get started. I think this video is getting pretty long, so what I'll do is I'll uh, put it up in part two, and uh, I'll start pulling it apart in uh, part two. Thanks.